Erica and Antoinette, only one person spoke publicly at today's hearing, so that vote came quickly. It was a unanimous one by the Public Improvement Commission, who's listened to a lot of debate on both sides of the aisle over the past few weeks, and there has been some heated debate. This petition was originally filed by the Red Sox because of former owner Tom Yockey's reputation as a racist. Trustees of the Yockey Foundation argued this would taint the legacy of the foundation's charitable work here in Boston. We heard today again from Walter Carrington, the former commissioner of Massachusetts Commission Against Discrimination. He investigated the team back in 1959, the same year Boston drafted its first black player. The spirit uh, of, of Boston, I think, is being renewed to the city that I knew when I grew up uh, in this area uh, as a very welcoming one. And uh, which was changed. And the Yaki Foundation issued a statement moments after that vote. It reads in part, this is a sad day for all of us at the foundation. Tom Yaki deserved to have his name live on at Fenway Park. We can't change today's decision, but we remain hopeful that he will be remembered as the good and decent man he truly was. Now, the Public Improvement Commission noted that 100% of abutters of Yaki Way approved and were for the name change. It's unclear right now when exactly that Yaki Way sign will come down and the street will return to its original name before Fenway Park of Jersey Street. Live in Boston, Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center 5.